Uh, no, the Hang and Chaotix are playing yes. for real this time, I think. Three, and two, one, let's see fight. if Chaotix can get a good start here. The Hang is clearly the favorite. Machine gun battle of Doom. Oh my god. <laughs> that was pretty good. There we go. That's a good start for Chaotix. And he's going to get the red as well as the mega. So that's like maybe the best start you can have. He just needs a lightning gun, and I guess that's it. So. I would, in his shoes, go for a lightning gun, but he's chilling, picks up the shotgun. I guess it's the hang, uh, Chaotix, so he wants to use um, the shotgun against the hang, because the hang is, he is the shotgun master, he's got to use his own tools against him. And we're halfway into this, into the first minute. Yeah, he still needs a uh, lightning gun, of course, but it's a time for picking next mega health, but probably, yeah, he gave it to the hang. Yeah, Keltix only just now gonna get his first lightning gun. They're both really stacked. Keltix has a slightly less of a stack than Dahang right now. And Dahang, I think, is really looking for a frag. And Keltix is playing really slow and just tr like, he's playing really defensively, like he's out of control, but kind of, it's not really like that because his stack is pretty good. So, Keltix looking for some good damage. He gets some nice damage to even the stack. Yeah, a around bit. 100 health, maybe. And it's okay. Mega now, and the hang knows there is Keolix above. So they're both playing very carefully. Keolix really, really careful with his lead, which I like. And oh, the hang, he could go for this. He's going to go straight through. Keolix has to win the aim battle, but he loses the aim battle in the hang. Mistake. Is Victor. Mistake. How should he get like the perfect position uh, to take for armor, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, probably the, the best. Uh, the best will be if uh, Keatix just maybe made a, ma made, made a small damage and then go to the red. And uh, the hang still... Ah, 12 points of health. Keatix has to know he's pretty low and the mega's up. Keatix does use a machine gun but the hang knows the lightning gun is going to be really good here. And there's no problem. He picks up the mega. Red's up on the spot and Keatix is going to wait for these yellows it looks like. Okay, he's going to go for damage. Oh no, I think he fell off by accident. And now the hang is going to pick up this red, another frag, and with the rocket jump up, he's going to get probably another yellow too. And Chaotix is now in a really bad spot, but he, Chaotix is looking for any kind of damage. So now Chaotix just has to like slow the game down, I guess. Try to survive. He picks up his lightning gun, which allow, will allow him to move out on the open areas of the map. And the hang picks up a mega. So the hang looks like he's got oh that was a nice bit of damage from Keldix. But the hang definitely has a huge advantage here. And he will pick up the mega the red as well. And that grenade launcher. So the hang has everything he needs. A three frag advantage. So in the hang's shoes, do you want to be aggressive here? Get more frags, or what how would you play play this situation as the hang? Hmm. He's going aggressive. Yeah, it's normal way to play. Like, uh, if we are looking for the frag, so we just uh, go and make a frag. Try, try it like that. Uh, but uh, if it's a kind of danger, uh, uh, we have to give a frag away. So, okay, we must stop and uh, rebuild our stack, of course. Yep. Oh man, the hand catches Keolix really badly there. Keolix does well for the damage, actually. I, I guess Keolix should rush him now. Would you say that's a good idea? I mean, Mega's far away. Yeah, probably is, yes, but I'm not sure about the spawn he had. Yeah, he's he had a shotgun. shotgun so yeah, it's uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, that's very true. He, so he looks like Chaotix is back to the drawing board, back to square one. He has his shotgun <laughs> as his only weapon, and he's got the shards. So now he's just got to chill and survive. Chill, 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 and make sure that Chaotic, uh, that the hang does not do any damage to him, which is going to be pretty hard because the hang is going to get aggressive as soon as he gets this red. But the hang's going to try and be sneaky, set up a. Uh, is it going to try and pick up that yellow? He gets it, and Chaotic's just picking up shards, which is good. The hang is playing very smartly because uh, he's always staying uh, on the top level with on the mm, on the center of the map, and uh, he's he's trying to understand where, where is uh, his opponent and uh, always trying to block the entrances. Mm. 
and it's definitely working out very well so far. Like he's, it looks like he's pretty much happy with how many frags he has, and he doesn't even want to take risks running into Chaotix, warning. especially now Chaotix has 170 armor, so Chaotix is pretty good for the stack. And the hang is gonna just throw him back though with his bu or bully Chaotix with his stack advantage. And Chaotix though is is playing pretty smart overall. Like I think uh, he's doing a decent job, but it's hard hard to uh, break the hang, which is what he has to do. The hang 200 at 170 is super stacked. Chaotix 100 and 140, 160 now. So Chaotix definitely still pretty strong. He needs some kind of trap. 200 armor now, so Kaldex definitely really wants to fight. This could be it. Oh my god, the speed, speedy entrance from the hang really hurt Chaotix's first rocket, his defensive rocket. Really nice from the hang to do that, and that gives him a lot of damage on Chaotix. Chaotix lost 120 armor in that, and now it's going to really slow him down. Here comes the hang, rocket jump up again, and oh, this is Chaotix's chance to get onto Mega. Oh, interesting. Kaelix takes the long way around. Hmm. He could have gone straight for it and grabbed it. It's quite strange. The hang is good. still going to extend his lead. And Kaelix is uh, not looking like he's going to break the hang's uh, control anytime soon. Okay, the hang picks up another red. And uh, do you have any thoughts on Kaelix's position? Like, what has he done wrong? Or... What you like, what you would like him to do, or against the hang? What is a good way? It's to just about, you know, the it's it's low level. That's it. Uh, it's in everything, in movement, in timing, in positions, in fights, in aim, everything. Just, just on the level, of course. Okay, that makes sense. And the hang does get the rocket jump up, and. This is going to be an easy situation for the hangman once again, you know, picking up another yellow and mega and red at the same time. Not a problem for the hang. Chaotix uh, actually picked up the last mega and has 50 armor. So Chaotix, again, if he gets a good trap here, he's going to set up a trap. Oh, okay, no, he's, he even removes himself from the trap spot. And unfortunate timing. He's going to go for the engagement and the hang. And the hang actually should be able to get this pretty comfortably. He does indeed. I'm surprised uh, Kaelix had a couple spots for a fight, but he kind of moved away from the good spots, I think. And there's a pickup of the Mega for the Hang as well. So the Hang is just really comfortable. He, every time Kaelix goes for a play, the Hang wins the fight and gets another frag. And his control continues. <laughs> Kaelix just has not been able to break the control once in this game. The Hang is definitely a good player, that is for sure. Oh, of course. And um, I'll be so interested to see how he does against Rafa later on. Assuming Rafa beats 0-4. I'm sure 0-4 can beat Rafa. You sure? I can, no, I'm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. I think he'll probably lose against uh, against Rafa, actually. Yeah. It's a good point. Rafa's really, really good. <laughs> so with 1 minute and 30 left, Chaotix... At least, you know, he's got another map to look at against the hang. And I'm not sure where Chaotix can find an advantage on the hang in the maps. I'd probably guess something like like campgrounds could be maybe Chaotix's best chance mm -hmm. against the hang just because of his experience. But we'll see how it turns out. The hang definitely looks really strong. He's, this is like the lowest he's been for a while. 28 points of health, and there you go, the Mega's right up there for him, as he has such a good sense for the items, cycling them really well, and pick up another red, and just looking at his, uh, his stats, uh, he's picked up 15 reds, 12 Megas, and 17 yellows, and Keldix has picked up 16 yellows, but 2 Megas and 2 reds, so yeah, the Hang has had so many items on this, in this game. And he's even hit it, he's hitting uh, better accuracies all around the board as well. So yeah, it definitely does uh, does go to show on the result. Kaelix now, like we're just playing out the, the rest of the garbage time here on this Lost World game between Kaelix and the Hang. And there, oh, that's not a frag. 
Just checking it. Kelly, she's got 62 health. Goes in with a shotgun. <laughs> Great shotgun connections, but the hang manages to survive yet again. 14 separating these two. And yeah, Lost World is going to be the hangs map for sure. And we're going to move on now. And it, yeah, I don't know. Like you said, it's just the hang is just a better shape all around. It's like, I guess it's difficult to even be better like decision wise when the decisions like they don't matter because everything else is behind I guess so maybe Kerex can step it up on the other maps but we'll see we will see hopefully yeah it's uh <laughs> Kerex is such a legendary player you know it's quite s it's quite sad in a sense that uh, Kerex might be most known because of the Lexa Kerex comeback yeah, which was course. against him <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Like I feel sorry for him sometimes because of that, but it was really awesome. So here we go, it's Furious Heights, and the hang is really good here. Probably much better here than the Lost World. So good luck, Chaotix. Let's see if you can make this work against the hang. So Chaotix does get the Mega Lightning Gun start, which is good. And he moves back to the shards. So he's going to wait. The hang wants the rail shot. Chaotix is waiting, you know Tang's there. Oh, the hang drops it right at the mo Oh my god, perfect timing for Chaotix. But the hang with the flick back rail manages to throw the uh, Chaotix off his trail. And that is the red for Chaotix as well. They delayed so much time standing there. But Mega's coming up soon. 50, uh, 100 armor advantage for the hang here. But the hang can really force his way on this Mega. And that's kind of what he's doing. Oh my god, it goes through the teleporter. Easy frag. So the hang is definitely doing really well. <laughs> Start. Oh my god. Ninja. <laughs> this is too easy. Oh my god, these grenades. Okay, so the hang. Two frags in a minute. It's looking really good for him. And Chaotix is trapped again. One rail, two rails. There's the frag. Three zero. Already. This is not this is not a good start for Chaotix. But like you said, it's good to see old school players finding time to play. And Kaelix does actually manage to pick up the red, but again, the damage in from the hang is really good. The hang managed to hit the rockets, the rails, and now Kaelix is not left very much. So he's going to have to pick up the health and work his way back over to the upper area, which is a great position to hold. So you can make sure you can control those choke points. And it gives you a lot of options, so angles and where you want to, routes you want to take and stuff like that. So it's a great position. But the problem is, is that he missed out on Mega. All he can do is rail. Hits one good rail, misses the second rail, and the pickup goes to the Hang. So the Hang is just taking everything on the map right now. And Kyodex has nothing. He might get... No, he probably won't get anything. The Hang is going to move his way over to this Mega. Jumps across. And Chaotix is doing some good work here, but he's so outstacked. He's got to be careful. He goes to the rocket jump, picks up the Mega. This is huge. Great work from Chaotix, but can he finish the job, though, against the Hang? He definitely can if he gets a good rocket. But that, that, that fall or fade back railing from the Hang, the defensive railing, is really powerful. And Chaotix even manages to steal the red, so wow. Chaotix is, uh, is doing a good job so far. And seven and a half minutes. In, uh, left in this one, and Chaotix, uh, even though he did manage to steal a bunch of items, he did take a lot of damage, so he's not very healthy. So to make a play on this Mega is going to be very difficult. He's going to try anyway. The Hang is there around that corner. Hang to fall back onto the red. And actually, Chaotix can just take this, this Mega for free now. And the yellow, only took the yellow already. So Chaotix is still in decent shape. Going to catch the Hang with some good lightning gun work too. And if you can get the rail, no, the Hang is always the one who hits those rails on the exit. And poor Chaotix, never able to really make the most of it, these situations. The Hang now with 200 armor, going to pick up another red. He's in gr a great spot for the challenge, hard for the Mega, but look, Chaotix is going to bring the challenge to him with the rockets and out of nowhere. And 33 health left for Chaotix. I don't, was, was that a good engagement? I mean, it seems quite random. Mm -hmm. Chaotix's engagement there, I don't know what I think about that. Uh, unpredictable. That's true, and <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the Hang will get the Mega here, so... I mean, Chaotix is still alive, so that's, that's good. He did steal the red away, but... Yeah, let's see if he can. Uh, what kind of engagements Chaotix will look for now? 
Because the hang is definitely being kind of aggressive. I feel like Helix can definitely set up some good traps that could work against the hang. But let's see how this goes. The hang picks up the yellow mega area. The yellow at the mega area. And Chaotix hits some nice rails. So Chaotix is going in. And this is really good for him now. If he can just manage to follow it up and not get railed. That would be great. But the hang is going to play it slow. Back back up. Chaotix is going to creep around. And oh, okay. The hang is going to see that. And react. So the hang is uh, definitely in a good spot at the moment, and Keolix is unable to use his advantages just so far. Last week we had Stacy on the campgrounds against the hang, catching him out constantly with amazing reads and traps. Keolix has yet to do something similar to that, and it's something that you kind of need to beat the hang. But he does find him with the lightning gun. Oh no! But he falls into the lightning stream of the hang and. And gets railed everything you've been working for, lost in a moment, like a moment's misstep. And that sucks for Chaotix. Oh my god, the rails from the hang. And the hang knows it's his time to get the frag. He gets it, and all that hard work for nothing from Chaotix. That is a shame. So we move to the halfway point in this one. The hang is 4 to 0, and Chaotix has some solid chances, but. He's not able to capitalize. And the hang right now is just waiting. He knows Chaotix is up there somewhere, waiting for the Mega. And he does get the rail as Chaotix jumps across. Chaotix is uh, forced to uh, fall back though, because he can't go through that choke point. And so Chaotix is still in a lot of trouble. And there's the hang. He is, the hang is in so much control of all the situations. Every single time Chaotix gets something, the hang gets the damage. So, so well played. So much good play here from the hang. As he tries to defend yet another red armor. Oh, Chaotix with a couple really nice rockets. Manages to take down the hang finally. Giving himself one frag on the board to the five of the hang. And with four minutes left, and the Mega are up on the spot, looking almost like a free affair here. It could be good news for Chaotix if he can push this forwards, but he has to make sure his red defense is immaculate. And here he goes, run it, rushing down onto the red. Where is the hang? He's over at the rail, actually, rail area, the upper area there. And Chaotix needs to find it. But how much time can the hang kill? That is what I want to know. And does he need to kill time? If he can force Chaotix into his rockets, then it's no problem. Oh, there you go. Chaotix catches the hang very well there in the back. 30 health. Chaotix knows he's screaming. Can Chaotix finish it off with the clutch shot? <laughs> Rocket jump coming in from the hang to save his own life. And the double back from the hang. So that's going to slow Chaotix down a little bit. But uh, definitely a really nice ambush from Chaotix. So Kula, tell me, can it be done? Can Chaotix do it against the hang? Mm, he's doing the right things at the moment, but uh, the question is uh, inside the aim, I guess. Because uh, the hang uh, knows how to play defensively and uh, slowly and... Uh, uh, possibly he will not uh, not be able to give a chance to Chaotic for uh, making many frags anyway. Yeah, oh man. The hang is yeah. efficient with his damage. That's it. And yeah, you can really tell the top tier of the players because of how well, of like how they use efficient engagements, how they take the exact right weapon from the exact right distance and everything to make sure that their damage up is like perfect mm, it's not like like the way uh, i just tell and uh, people players will will just fix it it's uh, always coming like inside your head automatically and uh, like like the way you can understandable understand uh, for yourself and here we are six to one i mean Kelix did well he kept himself alive. He managed to give a lot of good opportunities, but still he couldn't quite get there. It was close. It was close here and there, though, against the hang. Yeah, basically he's a normal player at the moment, but uh, 
in in in, in micro details uh, he's making so many mistakes and uh, incorrect movement in my opinion mm. but it's a kind of question of experience yeah the, i would say those small things like you're saying about the movement like in the fights and kind of around the map and so on that stuff is takes a long time to learn for sure like I know that's um Yeah, imagine how how many times uh the hunt played this map. Like, I don't know, maybe uh, for example three thousand times. Yeah. But Kiat could play maybe five hundred maximum. Yeah. So Yep. I can uh, I wonder if um I can even see maybe on the QR ranks how many times the hang has played various heights. I should check that out actually. Um that might be interesting. Because yeah, the hang is uh, played quite a lot. I don't know if he has any fake fake accounts or something, but let's have a look. Okay, so he's played. Well, he's been since since QR ranks existed, which is like two years or something. He's played 3,000 jewels and 25 or over 25 percent have been on Furious Heights. So that and that's just in the last two years or something. So okay, and I imagine. The, when the game was way more active, he was playing a lot more. So, yeah, Dahang has played Furious Heights quite a lot. And Kaelix is uh, going to fall to Dahang. And pretty expected, pretty expected. Dahang is going to move onwards. And, you know, it's going to be... I'm going to check uh, how the brackets are looking. And whilst I'm doing that, we are going to go to another break. So we'll be back with more quick live action here for the North American Cup. And remember to follow us on Twitch if you like our content. And also to hit us up on YouTube, Basic.com, for all of our video stuff. And me and Cool will be back very shortly. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right with you.